Do a little walk and look for some rocks. Hopefully we'll find something spectacular. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. But anyhow, we're uh, back at Grandpa's Beach again. Had to come down to Milwaukee again and hopefully had a little bit of luck finding a couple of agates or some decent fossils today, but uh, had an hour here to hit the beach. And let's hope we find something decent. And right there. Nice little piece of banded shirt. Oops, sorry. Almost fell there. That's a pretty little piece. Throw that guy in a tumbler. Boy, if you found a beautiful piece here. I'm leaning towards agate as smooth as that is, but it's mostly quartz. Yeah, it's not spectacular, but hey, agate is an agate. Just found a fossilized piece of a fish backbone. Pretty sure that's what it is. Cool, anyway. Another fossil. Hoping for more agates. We only got two so far. We'll keep on looking. Been talking to a lot of beach glass hunters down here. And they say the cobalt blue is the rarest to find. Guess what I just got? A piece of cobalt blue. And the wifey found an egg at. Damn, girl. That's a, actually a nice one. The camera's not doing it justice. There's some nice banding in that guy. Damn it, she's got three now really nice ones and all I get is one stupid nice one. Every time I take my wife along, she always beats me. I'm getting tired of this crap. There's a nice little guy. Try to zoom in on some of the bands there. Wifey just threw some coral in there, but... You know, let me grab this into my hand here. Oh yeah, we got some banding and lines in that guy. That is a nice little agate. Not like our Lake Superior, but agate all the same. Okay. I'm liking that guy. I just found this crazy looking guy. Little eye right there, some red inclusion. A couple little eyes in that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little egg, Jamie. That's when I walk over that door. <laughs> sure, she walks over my big one, which is eh, and again, she gets the better stuff. Oh, that even must look like a little fossil in there. Cool. Nice little egg there. You can see the banding in it. The squirrels, wavies. Here's my potato skin. Hopefully something even nicer inside. Just found another spectacular little piece of banded shirt. That's gonna really turn out nice. I know it's not egg, but some of these guys are even more beautiful than the agates when you tumble them. I think this one will turn out really nice. In fact, no, that, that's shirt. Yeah, second guessing myself there for a second. So far, not a bad day for just an hour. Another little agate. Got some water lying in there. Not overly spectacular, but nice. An agate is an agate is an agate. I'll take them all. And another neat little fossil. Not as cool as my bone fossil, though. Still got that in my hand. I just can't let it go. That was one of the coolest fossils I've ever found. And I just got a wet set of stones. Yippee. And the wifey outdoes me again and finds another nice one here. Damn her. I swear, she's got the luck of the Irish. And she's a red-headed Irish. Nothing against the right Irish community, but I'm getting really fed up with this luck of the Irish shit. I want to find the good stuff. Just found this guy. A 
nice banding in it. Well, you know, maybe my luck has changed. Maybe I will beat my fighting Irish. And folks, I just found a beauty. And I'm pretty sure this is banded shirt, but just, well, maybe not. Damn. I'm thinking, yeah, that's a it. I'm thinking how to look at it under my jeweler's loop, but damn, that's beautiful. Parts of this are too clear to be shirt, which was my first guess when I just glimpsed at it. But yeah, damn. Just came across this little guy right there. That's a nice little moss egg. Camera's not doing it justice right now, but let's see if I'll get it to uh, focus here. I'm trying to focus. There we go. Nice layer of moss. A couple layers of moss in that guy. Oh, that's definitely a keeper. Oh, and another nice little guy here. Piece of fossil. And it's agatized. That is a really nice line. Grand Park Beach, Lake Michigan, never fails me. Wow, that's a nice piece. Just picked this guy up. It could possibly be a skipping at him. I'll have to do more research with some of the books and a little of my jewelers loop later, but I do believe this could be a potential skipping at a maggot. Got all the signs. I'll have to learn more at home. My wifey just picked up a nice piece of sedimentary. It looks really beautiful. She wants to keep, so I shall. There is a beautiful, beautiful specimen. Wonderful piece. A uh, banded shirt. I don't think that's agate. I've never seen banding quite like that, but it's a beautiful piece. And then right next to it, a really nice fossil. Huh. A twofer. a little piece of shirt here, but I've never seen green on the back of that stuff before. That's a cool little piece. Nice shiny green with some patterns on the back. Shirt on the other. Hey folks, just doing a follow-up on our trip down to Grant Park Beach in Milwaukee this past week and uh, had time to get home and look through some of the rocks we found. Nice handful of agates and then this beauty right here, which is a Uperlite rock. Um, did not know that you could find those down the Milwaukee area. I thought they were more indigenous to um, Upper Peninsula in Michigan, but I guess our glaciers can move things very far places. Talk to people down at Grand Park Beach in Milwaukee, and uh, quite a few of them said they find Uperlite there all the time. In fact, they told me of a guy last summer that actually found an 86 pounder in the water. And actually came and harvested it, but never would have thought that kind of, this kind of rock would have been that far down south, but I guess they are. Good to know. This is our first find of a Uperlite, even though we live nearby. Um, we just started searching for it in the last year, and go figure. The first one that we find happens to be about 400 miles from where we live, where they're indigenous to. What luck. Anyhow, I'll get, I'm going to head into the other room right now and show you the agates that we found. And I'll be right back. And just so you know, that's what Uperlite looks like normally. Just looks like a normal piece of granite. And without having a UV light, you would never know that it glows in the dark. So if you ever want to go out looking for it, just pick up a UV light. I guess they say that the more expensive white UV, you're going to have better luck finding it. But we have luck with our um, black light UV light. We have luck with it, so 
that's good anyhow back onto the agates i know somewhere in the video here this is that beautiful uh piece of moss agate i found it's got some nice moss and you can actually see in that quite a bit this one here i'm definitely thinking it's a lake superior agate have to cut that guy open haven't had the opportunity to you to yet but you can see some swirls on the skin on that one this one looks like it could be or could not be i did see some lines in it there they are yep and uh we'll probably just throw that one in the tumbler this guy is a meh agate it's okay got a few faint eyes in it and some waterline this guy i'm still thinking is chert i've had a couple people say well maybe it's an agate just something about it you know it's got some of the agate line that you usually don't see with chert could be just a darker agate i'm not used to all the agates that are down in that area this one i'm thinking maybe it probably is well hard to say won't take no till i take a cut to it but i'm pretty sure all this goop on it was this was set in concrete once we did find this near concrete jetty but I'm going to cut it out and find out, cut it open and find out what's in the thing. I'm thinking there might be something nice in that guy. This guy here, nice bigger one. Um, actually, a real decent size on this guy. It's got some real pretty color in it. Don't know if I'm going to cut this yet or what I'm going to do with it. This agate, probably just tumble it. Not too bad. Same with this guy. There's that really spectacular agatized fossil that I found. I love this guy. It's got some real character to it. Probably going to throw this guy in the tumbler just to see what I get out of it. Um, let's see now. This guy is unique. I'm hoping that just ain't on the skin. I'm hoping it sort of goes up into the rock. Really torn on whether to cut and see or just throw it in a tumbler and cross my fingers this guy i'm not quite sure what it is i'm it just had to care some characteristics of an agate but not it's just really odd i'm not wondering if this is some sort of fossil either this one i'm going to look into more before i do anything with it i'm sure a tumbler would destroy it this guy i'm going to throw cut through take into the saw a lot of quartzite in it, but it has some agate characteristics. This is that one that was on video that my wife found. This is a nice little agate. We basically focused on the agates. We found a few fossils that nothing spectacular along those lines either. That bone fossil I had in video turned out it was just a very old bone. Did the pin test and burn it, and the pin did, pin did burn it, so it wasn't fossilized, but old and in that area there's a lot of shipwrecks not sure what it was but or where it came from but sure seemed fossilized and was well polished by the beach anyhow a uh, red moss agate that we got here and by the way this green moss agate that's my very first oops this is the very first green moss i found we don't get it this too frequently up near where we're at this guy my wife found this one i don't know what i'm going to do with yet you can definitely see the swirls everything on the skin here i'm thinking this guy might be really beautiful inside you can see a little bit on there oh in the window there um i'd hate to ruin this if i cut it wrong but uh basically we're just gonna sit on this one for a little bit and figure out what i'm going to do torn this guy too nice little agate um not showing much as far as what could be going on this one i'll throw on the saw i'm not as nervous or apprehensive about and then this one that the wifey found not really spectacular more quartz and agate but still got a little bit in there i think that one will polish up nice might even try to make one cabbage on over that guy and then finally, this little guy. But not a bad trip altogether. We had a little bit of time to kill, so we hit the beach. I've been there before. It's a really surprising beach. Uh, it uh, produces quite a bit. 
Anyhow, folks, thanks for watching, and hit the beaches.